Hello everyone, it's Shannon here for Waffle Flower Crafts. Today's video makes me so happy because we are combining rainbows and foil by DecoFoil. Here are the Waffle Flower products I'll be using to create today's card. First up is the Rainbows Combo. This comes with the rainbow stamp set and the rainbow panel die, which you see here in the back. Next up is the rainbow word die. I'll be using that word rainbows. I'll also be using the partly cloudy die using the larger cloud from that set and I'll make a sentiment strip using the sentiments die. And here are the deco foil products I'll be using today. These are the two colors of foil I'll be using, rainbow and iridescent. I'm very excited about these two colors. These are the transfer sheets and each tube you get five sheets. I'll later pull out a sheet so you can see how large it is. It's really a big, uh, good bang for your buck. Oh, so here's the sheet with just a little corner cut off. And look at that beautiful rainbow, oh, so pretty. I'll also be using DecoFoil Transfer Gel. This is a super cool product. I'll be combining it with one of DecoFoil's designer stencils. This one is called Starburst. And then I'll be using uh, some toner sheets. In my previous video, I used toner sheets, but they were peel and stick toner sheets. I'm going to be using these other plain toner sheets with no uh, adhesive backing today for this card. And now I've showed you all the products, let's get started. So I've already gone ahead and trimmed down 110 pound white cardstock to an A2 panel, so it's four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm taking the Starburst Designer Stencil by DecoFoil, angling it a little bit here, placing it over my a panel and then using some painter tape to hold it in place. Now the stencil has like a smooth side and a slightly textured side. I have the textured side down on my um, cardstock and then the smooth sides facing up. I just found that this was easier for cleanup, but both sides worked. Now I'm taking the transfer gel and just placing it over using a spatula. This is actually a tool that came with my Cricut. The first one I made, I even used a plastic knife and it worked fine. And I'm just going over the surface and filling, covering the whole panel with the transfer gel, making sure I get into all the openings of the stencil. Once I've got it all covered, I'll remove the stencil and I will set this aside to dry. This needs to dry for an hour. So that's why I did this first. I'm letting that dry and I'll move on to the next part. I'm starting with the toner sheets here. I've already pulled out one and trimmed it down a little bit for die cutting. I'm going to pull out a couple dies here from the rainbow panel die set, pull out that cloud with the rainbow and the smallest cloud from that set. From the partly cloudy set, I'll pull off the cloud, and then from the rainbow word die, I'm going to pull off the rainbow word. I'm going to grab my platform here for die cutting. I'm going to place the toner sheet down and then arrange this cloud and rainbow die right over it. I did trim this scrap a little close, so I'm actually going to grab a little bit of tape here to hold the die in place while I die cut it. And I'm going to die cut this just like I would normally be die cutting any of my um, images. Just going to hold it down, put the top plate on, and then run it through my die cutting machine. I've already gone ahead and ran it through my machine. Now I'll remove the tape and I will pull out the die cut. I will eventually separate those pieces in the inside, but I'm going to leave them in for now so I don't lose them. But I'm going to be foiling that whole entire die cut. Now I'm going to go ahead and quickly jump to die cutting the other two clouds and the rainbow word die. And I'm die cutting them just like I did before, trying to use the scraps not to waste any of these toner sheets. With my die cutting all done, I'm now ready to move on to foiling. I went ahead and set my laminator up on my work surface so you can really see what I'm doing. I'm holding right now the carrier sheet. This is what I'll feed my transfer sheet and toner sheets through my laminator in. This carrier sheet came with my toner sheet pack. So when you purchase either the toner sheet pack or the toner peel and stick pack, you will get one of these carrier sheets and it's just a parchment sheet. Now I've taken my transfer sheet. This is the rainbow foiled um, paper that you see here and I'm flipping it face down so I have the beautiful rainbow side down into my parchment paper and now I'm taking each strip from the rainbow cleaning it a little bit with my fingers and then placing the black side down into the back side of this rainbow transfer sheet. The front is so I'm basically doing this um, upside down here the front is actually 
facing down on my work surface. Now I'm lining all these up so I have just minimal uh, gaps between them and then I will fold over my carrier sheet and then I will feed it through my laminator. Now my laminator has been heating up for a good 20 minutes. You want to make sure your laminator is nice and hot before you do any fo foiling. I'll pull it out here so you can see the beautiful results. I'll just peel back the transfer sheet here and you can see how beautiful these strips of the rainbow foiled. So pretty. Now I'll move on to the rainbow uh, die cut. Again, I'm going to place the front of the transfer sheet down into the parchment paper and then put my black side of my die cut, which is the toner side, face down into the uh, transfer sheet. And then I will run it through my laminator and then peel back. And I have my rainbow word die now with this beautiful foiled rainbow. Now I'm going to move on to the iridescent transfer sheets. This is harder to tell the front from the back, especially on camera, but in person the back is more muted and the front has a more um, rainbow kind of look. So right now the front is face down in my parchment paper and again I'm turning my uh, toner sheet so the black side is down into the back side of the, the uh, transfer sheet or the foil sheet. And then just fed it through the uh, carrier into my laminator. And now you can see my beautifully foiled um, clouds. So pretty. I'm in love with this iridescent paper. It's just beautiful. The only thing is I had a little glitch here and I, I didn't hold it to the camera like I should so you can see, but on that little corner there on the right side of the cloud, it didn't quite foil as well. So you, what's really handy is to have one of these deco foil adhesive pins. I just went over that spot a little bit. You let it dry for 30 seconds to a minute. And then once it's dry, you can cut a little bit more of the foil and then run it through the laminator again. And that will kind of fix any little blemishes that you may get every now and then when you foil. And now that I've fixed that little blemish, I've now completed the foiling for all my die cuts. I'm now going to move on to foiling this beautifully, beautiful stenciled sheet that we did earlier with the transfer gel. It's been an hour later, so the gel is dry. I'm going to take some more of that iridescent foil, place it face down into my parchment paper, and then place my panel face down into, my, uh, into the foil, and then feed it through. Guys, I have to tell you, I was blown away by the results of this. Once I peel back the transfer sheet, you'll get to really see what I mean. Look at how beautiful this foiled. I cannot believe it. I am in love with this technique. I cannot wait to try stencils and transfer gel again with foiling. This is just such beautiful results. Now that we finished foiling our panel, we're now ready to kind of put together our card. I went ahead off camera and die cut out of craft foam that rainbow and cloud. I've also die cut four rainbow words from the rainbow word die, and I'm now going to stack them up and adhere them together. I'm just using some liquid adhesive and a fine tipped nozzle that just makes, and just doing little dots of glue all over the word and then layering one word on top of the other. And I will repeat this process till I have all four of these word die cuts stacked up on top of each other. Now that I have all four stacked up, I'm now ready to glue my rainbow, rainbow word on top of my stacked up uh, die cuts. And again, I just use some of that liquid adhesive, little tiny little dots all over the, um, the dimensional word and then stuck that down. Now I'm ready to adhere my um, iridescent cloud onto the cloud and rainbow die cut of craft foam. I'm just going to use um, some tape runner here. I found that this worked better for that broad surface of the cloud. Any liquid glue here kind of showed uh, underneath the surface of that foil. So you want to definitely use tape, uh, a tape runner here instead of liquid glue for gluing like large solid surfaces of foil. And now I'm just popping in each one of the strips for the rainbow and it's really coming together. You can really see how pretty this rainbow looks with that foiled rainbow strips. Just really, really pretty. And I also went ahead off camera and stamped in white heat embossed uh, a sentiment from the rainbow stamp set on a die cut strip using the sentiments die of black cardstock and just white and heat embossed that off camera. 
I went ahead and glued the A2 panel down onto an A2 top folding card base with liquid glue. And now I'm going to kind of arrange that sentiment strip that I made off camera and my rainbow word die, kind of figure out where I want them to go. I do have one more thing I need to adhere. I forgot to adhere the craft foam. I also cut craft foam um, for these clouds and I'm now going to here adhere these iridescent clouds onto the their matching craft foam piece. And again, I'm using Tape Runner because I found that the liquid glue for these larger solid areas kind of showed up underneath the surface. So the Tape Runner was definitely a lot better. Even though I'm a liquid girl through liquid glue girl through and through, I definitely had to concede that the Tape Runner was better for parts of this. So now I'm going to glue my sentiment down using some more Tombow Mono Multi-Liquid Adhesive here and just going to glue both the strip and the word die cut out to the actual cloud. I do have some overhang and I'll address that later. I'm now going to glue the rainbow down onto my card front using some more liquid glue. I'm just going to angle it a little um, askew, kind of thought that was a fun take on this uh, die cut. And now I'm going to arrange the clouds and then I will glue them down with some more liquid adhesive. Just adjusting here the sentiment a little bit more just so I you can see it. I don't, re I don't like it when the um, rainbow covers up too much of the sentiment strip so I want to make sure I adjust it so you can still read it well. So I've taken some foam tape here and doubled it up and I'm trimming it down just a little bit so it can fit under that tail end of the sentiment strip and that's going to support that side. And for the rainbow word die that's hanging off the cloud, I'm just going to glue that right down onto my card base. I'm just going to lift it up here, add a little bit more liquid glue, and then hold it down just till it the glue kind of sets a little bit. And then that will hold that down so it just doesn't catch anything when people are pulling it out of an envelope. And that will complete my card. I'll hold up to the camera here so you can really take in all that beautiful foiled uh, sparkly rainbow goodness. I really had a lot of fun creating this card. It kind of reminds me of my Lisa Frank days. And I really hope you guys enjoy checking it out too. I will definitely be doing some more foiling in the future. I think foiling and me are best friends forever. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you want any more information on the products I use, please visit waffleflower.com and you can follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for more creative ideas. Thanks for watching.